In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how you can torch the Cover 3 Invert in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time today to watch my YouTube video. And if you've never been to my channel before, my channel posts four videos a day here on YouTube with different tips and strategies and tactics that you can apply to your own game that can allow you to be very, very effective and basically just win more Madden games. So uh, I spent a lot of time practicing, spent a lot of time learning from other people. And so this video today is, is uh, a long awaited video that helps you kind of uh, dissect the cover three invert. Now, if you don't know what a cover three invert is, it's basically a coverage that you can make on the field and it's a very difficult coverage to bomb at least from my uh, personal experience with it it's the one coverage that i feel like uh, can people can kind of hang in this and yes the underneath is open but the over top is not quite uh not quite there now to do this i'm in the arizona cardinals playbook now if you've never been uh to my channel before I've written an entire offensive and defensive guide out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and the 46 defensive playbook. And so if you have not picked up the full scheme, um, it's 120, over 125 pages, over 10 hours of video breakdowns. That is my Madden 21 guide in the description. I've called it the Madden 21 competitor's guide because if you want to compete, this is the guide for you. It goes into ex ex um, extensive detail on different one play coverages against every defense you're going to face and also shows you how to lock up some of the best plays uh, and best offenses in Madden. Now, uh, the play comes to us from the spread wide slot. It's coming out of my favorite play in the game, and that is curl wheel. And um, one of the things that I think out of, out of you know, I base my offense out of a philosophy called the air raid or a system called the air raid um, that's really prevalent in college and is becoming even more prevalent in the NFL, especially with Cliff Kingsbury over at the Arizona uh, Cardinals. It's kind of why we used his playbook to write this. But as I've been playing uh, Madden 21, I've noticed that um, this cover three invert is, is very, very difficult to, to beat. Now, what I would encourage you to do when you run this play is to run it from the right hash mark. So you want to be on the right hash mark. That's going to make it most effective. And just to show you the route combo, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call off the dogs a little bit here. Um, Shaq Barrett has been shedding me like crazy today um, as I've been trying to prepare these videos. But basically what you do is your opponent will put these outside guys in deep halves or deep uh yeah deep halves and so what i would typically do against cover three is to run this mesh concept mesh concept right here and basically just put the put the uh slot receiver on a on a streak route but what you'll see here is when they run that coverage the corners come back and they're able to defend this that's like that for a lot of the cover three beaters that I know. A lot of cover three beaters that I've given you and a lot of cover three beaters that you'll uh, find on YouTube are really great against cover three, but they're not as great against the cover three invert where they put the deep halves out there. The deep half zones are a little bit harder to glitch out this year, and they just play a little bit better. And so what I'm going to do right now is show you the simple, very, very simple route combination. There's really not a whole lot to it, honestly. Um, but it, it, it does it does torch this. So like I said, you want to be on the right hash, and you don't have to have Hot Route Master to run this. I just happen to be in practice mode, labbing up some other things uh, with Hot Route Master. Now in Mutt, I do have uh, Backfield Master, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, McCoy on a flat route. He doesn't have to be on a flat route. You can put him on a wheel route if you want to, um, but for this purpose of this video, I like to have him on a flat route. I'm going to take Rob Gronkowski, and I'm going to put him on a hitch route. And then I'm going to take uh, Miller here, and I'm going to put him on a slant route, and I'm going to motion him to the right side of the screen. And what you're going to see here, the defense is going to shift a little bit, and he's on the right side of the screen. And what you're going to see is this left side of the field is wide open for an absolute dot over the top on that wheel route on the left side. Now, that is the, the key to this play uh, is certainly that they are – uh, in that cover three invert style of zone. The the, the standard cover three uh, will defend this a little bit better um, as far as the one play touchdown element, but we'll show you right here. And one thing you might see, like when, when you do the motion, they might do something like this right here. I would actually probably rather have them do this uh, against this, but what you'll see here, so they're gonna press up me and align the defense. And you see how um, this is just not even, not even close. He's gonna get over the top of that. And that deep half just doesn't cover the outside third. It doesn't cover the outside quarter. It covers the deep half. And so when you isolate wheel routes, and this is why it's so important to me 
because most people don't really run wheel routes anymore because wheel, wheel routes don't beat man-to-man -man coverage. Um, they don't beat a lot of the popular coverages that you're going to play. Well, now all of a sudden you have a great option because uh, these simple motions and turning this into a trips three by one set, um, just a simple uh, motion. Now here, uh, you don't, you also, you don't have to have him on a slant route. You'll see here, I can put him on a drag route and the cover three beater will work just the same and you get that over the top and you're going to be able to torch that cover three invert over the top for one play touchdown. Now, real quickly, before I jump off, I do want to show you this against cover three standard. Um, but before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about my text message membership. If you don't know, I have started a text message membership at my channel. It's 100% free for you to get access to those. But in those, so far, we've released four videos. I think it's a grand total of three and a half hours worth of content. We've got two videos of 50 minute, uh, borderline, basically a big nickel over G defensive guide for you. We've got in there, we've got a run defense guide. We've got a pass uh, defense guide as far as defending trips tight end. We have a gun cluster full scheme breakdown. We have a Minnesota Vikings um, scheme breakdown. So if you haven't jumped in the text message membership, we release very high level Madden 21 tips to every to and schemes to people every single week, 100% uh, free, but it only goes to people who are text message members. It won't go on my Discord. It won't go on my channel. It won't go to anybody of my anyone who has even purchased an ebook. It has to be a text message member. So if you want to receive those free uh, tips that we give out every single week, I'd highly encourage you just to shoot me a text uh, and let me know you'd like to receive those. My number is 812-216-3644. All right, so how does this work against cover three, you might ask? Well, against just like a standard cover three, um, it will kind of hang with this a little bit better. What you'll see here on this this wheel route on the outside, if I try to throw this, you'll see, and of course I get to throw out a sack, and this is what I'm talking about with practice mode. And this is why when you're labbing route combinations, I highly recommend just spying the defensive line because if you don't, like it's going to be dang near impossible to throw things and really break things down. The pass rush is not going to get at you that fast in a game uh, unless you because you're going to have edge protectors or something like that. But anyway, here, let me show you this route combination. So this is the same route combination. Now, this is cover three uh, with that deep third on the left side. And you see he's going to run with him. See that? The throw is not there. It's not open at all, really. Uh, you're not going to be able to hit it. But what you are going to be able to do is you're going to be able to leverage your um, your solid little route combination on this right side of the field. And what you could do if you wanted to is you could streak Gronkowski, and there's a chance to get some some nice dots out of that. But literally, this is just going to open everything else up. I mean, the hitch and flat combination is really, really effective. Hitch, flat, and curl over top. We saw how effective that was from Turbo Jeff in the uh, Madden 21 Club Championships. Uh, as he was torching Noonan with that combination, that coverage combination. But what you'll see here, you can run into this this very simple three by one. Uh, one other thing you can do is you can take Scotty Miller and you can put him on a streak. And this three by one little streak right here is going to absolutely glitch out that middle third zone as well. And you're going to be able to torch cover three over the top. So this little route combination, even though uh, I have not really gotten, gotten into motioning and motion snapping from trips, or from three by one uh, out of spread, I'm going to definitely start because this is a very, very simple little, I mean, it's, there's not a whole lot of complexity to it. Like I said, if you wanna really torch cover three, you can streak Scotty Miller and you have this little, um, because it's a specific post from curl wheel, I don't think there's any other play in spread that can give you this. Um, but that specific post from curl wheel, you see he's gonna glitch out that deep middle third and you're going to be able to get in behind it with Scotty Miller 90. I think he's got 94 speed. So you're going to be able to absolutely torch cover three, all right? They're, they're not going to be able to run cover three. This is going to force them to go to something else, whether it be cover two man, whether it be cover two zone. And let me just quickly show you, if they are if they run cover three, or I'm, I'm sorry, if they run cover two man, and let's just say, you know, let's just say they drop their safeties. Uh, maybe they run like, maybe they run something like a cover one out of it. You know, I don't know what they might do. But let me just show you the route combination one more time here. Um, if they run the cover two man defense, this is where obviously Scotty Miller on that on the route that he is on, you would much rather have him, you know, on a slant probably against man coverage. But you'll see here, I mean, if he gets a good one on one matchup, you know, this curl or this post route to Mike Evans is going to torch man to man coverage. The other thing is, if you have a speed advantage, which if you're playing mutt, you might not have that. 
But if you have a speed advantage um, and they are shading, if they shade down, you can hit the wheel route. If they don't shade down, like if they just shade out, outside and over top, you're going to have a tough time hitting the wheel route. But what you'll see right here, you know, again, just the standard, very basic uh, route combination on the right side of the field. But on the left side of the field, this is one on one. And basically, it's a speed battle. Um, and as you can see here, you know, I'm not going to be able to win it and 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 they obviously they have a speed advantage With that corner, but if you have a speed advantage You can hit that against man-to-man -man. the other thing that you can do like I said is you can hit the quick read to uh, The quick read to LaShawn McCoy uh, You can also hit the quick read to Rob Gronkowski and you can hit this quick little streak uh, Over the top like if you have a speed advantage what you'll see here on this is it will get it will get um, over top of that coverage and we'll show you what I'm talking about right here so if I drop this guy let's say I drop this guy into a middle third and then because I haven't set my slot cornerback package I can't show you the purples but it was it, I'm trying what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mimic mimic the purple zones uh, to do that I'm just gonna take that guy out of the play but I, I just want to get that solo uh, solo safety coverage high and what you'll see with Scotty Miller is he's on a streak. He's coming over, motion up. And you see how this little route to Mike Evans is going to be wide open. So, anyways, guys, that is a little adjustment to curl wheel that you can utilize. Uh, we haven't released that to even the guide numbers. Um, but it's a very, very effective adjustment that you can use to kind of glitch out some of the cover three inverts and the deep middle third kind of coverages that you're going to see um, in Madden 21. So, Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't joined the Discord, be sure to do that. And if you have not picked up the guide yet, I really want to encourage you to consider doing that. Some of the guys that have picked it up, we've taken people who are throwing the ball for maybe 100 yards a game, and we've turned them into four to 500-yard a game passers in their CFMs. We've taken people who have, uh, were originally getting you know three and out, three and out, or pick six, pick six, and now they're basically unable, unable to get stopped. So this offense is really, really, really good. The defense is no joke as well. We've taken people who could never stop the run, giving up 200, 300 yards on the ground, and now they barely give up you know double digits in the run game. So uh, if you're really looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I would highly encourage you to pick up the Madden 21 Competitors Bundle Guide, which you can find in the description of this video. It is a full, full machine. Um, very, very in-depth breakdowns in it. And I just, I cannot, I cannot ask you enough to pick that up because I'm just telling you right now, it's one of the things that helped me get better when I was first starting to try to become a better Madden player was to purchase guides and to learn uh, systems and philosoph uh, philosophies uh, from Madden players who were just a little further along uh, down the road than I was or maybe they just played the game a little bit more than I did and so they knew a little bit more about it so I'd highly encourage you to pick that up like I said it's been a great success so far um, and we also have a discord where you can lab with better players that's kind of the next thing that I would suggest if you're looking to really improve in the game is to get better lab partners which you can do that at our discord um, there's a whole section devoted to finding lab partners, so be sure to jump in the Discord. The link is in the description of this video. We've got a couple more videos coming for you tonight, and we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for your time, guys, and we'll see you.